Steve Smith was born into the Kwakwakawak Nation of northern Vancouver Island. His great-grandfather was a hereditary chief. His father, an acclaimed artist, began teaching him the fundamentals of painting, carving, and design when he was 20. After a long apprenticeship, Steve developed his own distinctive style, using traditional forms in a contemporary way. Things that, for most people that wouldn't really go, you have a U-shape there, and what's filling the space isn't typical of what most people would put in a U-shape. And there's an ovoid, and again, mostly what goes into an ovoid is another ovoid or a salmon trout head. Typically you get this kind of thing filling it, or you get another ovoid filling it. People aren't used to seeing an eagle head inside of an ovoid. He's breaking the rules, but he doesn't care about that. My interest isn't really to do traditional native art because, you know, it's been done and people are still doing it. I'm trying to do native art in a way that people don't usually see it. Steve takes no credit for the creativity of his work. He believes all creativity comes from the one, the universe. I'm not responsible for what comes out through me. I see it as the divine God or the creator, whatever you want to call it. That's where all creativity comes from. My job, and probably the only job that I have, is the skill of either carving or painting. And the rest of it, I really don't have any control over. Funny thing with inspiration is I find inspiration everywhere. Like I, I like looking at different shapes, the different colors, and you can see that outside in trees and plants and little spots on animals. He feels he's tapped into an endless source of inspiration and ideas, and to keep them coming, he just has to stay open to them. If you are ready for something, opportunities will keep knocking. And it's just a matter of you know, opening the door and accepting it or not opening it and not accepting it. And what I'm tapped into is endless. I guess I'm very, I feel very fortunate to be able to tap into that and to know that, you know, what I'm doing today is going to be totally different than what I'm doing tomorrow and, you know, new designs, new ideas, new concepts, they are continually there. This belief in abundance really sets him free as an artist. In every way, that's a completely liberating feeling for me because it really takes a load off my shoulders. I don't have to do a whole lot other than the execution of it. My part, I, I'm responsible for the quality of what I do. And the content takes care of itself. I have absolutely nothing to do with the content. And for me, I don't see what I do as mine. You know, it's with me for a short period of time. I get to enjoy it, I get to experience it. And when it's done, it's done and it moves on and I, I move on to something else. That said, he does have a special relationship with each piece. You know, it doesn't matter if I work on a piece for a day or work on a piece for months, there's something I don't know, something kind of magical happens. It's a very intense, it's almost like a love affair that happens. And then when it's over, it's over. And you're on to the next thing. And then that piece is your next love affair. And I love it because I'm always doing something that I love to do. After a year and a half of planning, design, and painting, Steve's clearly happy to finish the YVR project. Yet when the crew comes to load out the pieces, you can see some separation anxiety. The laminated red cedar panels weigh up to 750 pounds each. The paint and the 12 three-foot drums are delicate. Everything has to be handled with care. The move and installation at YVR takes three days.
But if we start it here, so this will be number one here then. Three is right here. Thank you, Great Spirit, for this new day. So much like yesterday, and yet so very special. Okay, ready, we'll go three, two, one, and we'll cut the ribbon. And thank you very much. artist dream to have work that the world can see and I get satisfaction out of doing something that people may not have ever seen before. Sometimes I'm very surprised at how wonderful a piece can turn out or how much beauty it has.